Houston and Utah tied at two early. We'll be going there at the conclusion of this game. A game that's seen nearly 60 fouls called. Actually, that is short of the record for both teams in a playoff game. Miller for three, and he got it. Reggie Miller with a clutch tray, and it's 105-102. And a steal. Miller retreats to the three-point line and hits again. <laughs> Tie game. No need to foul in that situation. And the foul is called with 13.2 seconds. Reggie Miller made a three. Stole the ball, raced behind the three-point line, and hit again. What a presence of mind. But then to foul there, the, the Knicks had no timeouts. You basically had to play for overtime if you're the Pacers in that situation. Miller's going to make, as he sets the screen, he steps behind, makes the first jumper. On the inbound pass, Greg Anthony stumbles, and they can't get it to him. The ball gets stolen, Mason... Not able to call timeout. Starks misses. Neither team has a timeout remaining. Pacers have to box out here if they expect to win this game. Last time, similar situation. Anthony with the offensive board. A make is okay for the Pacers. Starks misses. Batted around. Ewing has it. His shot. No. Reggie Miller, the rebound, and a foul with 7.5 seconds. And Pat Riley is saying, what is going on here? Goes after Ewing just a bit long. Miller has hit 12 of 13 in the game. For only the second time in 16 games here at the Garden in against the New York Knicks, Indiana has reached 100 points. They won the other time. Maybe this will be the magic number for them here as well. It's like Indiana's win in game one at Orlando last year. Miller no hits two. No timeouts. Anthony stumbles and falls. Time runs out. Reggie Miller scoring eight points in the final 32 seconds. Spike Lee and 19,000 at Madison Square Garden. 